Hi guys, this is Laura with How's It Growing. Um, I just wanted to firstly introduce myself. I kind of shy from the camera a bit, but I do want to start putting myself out there a little bit more. You'll notice I have my favorite gardening hat on. This serves as a multi-purpose for me. One, I love it. Get to pull my ponytail through, uh, shades from the sun, and right now I get to hide a little bit because I'm still a little bit camera shy. So anyway, my name is Laura Wassano. Um, I live in New Jersey and I have two little boys. I'm 42 years old. I just celebrated my seventh wedding anniversary and I'm gonna pause this real quick because there's a dog in the bar. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, so, and there's the doggy again. I'm just gonna talk through the doggy. Um, so anyway, I'm 42 years old, just celebrated my seventh wedding anniversary to my husband, Mark. I grew up in this town. I was born and raised here. Uh, I live seven blocks away from my mom and dad. I'm so blessed um, to have them so close by. They help out with our two boys tremendously and I'm so thankful for them. So anyway, today I just got done watching a video that Laura posted where she swapped out her fall containers um, by the barn. Um, I was getting ready to come out here today and do some staking up of my wee white hydrangeas. They're getting a little bit flopped over and there's two reasons for that. One reason is they're planted in front of a big hedge of ewes that we have. Um, so ideally you don't want them to be that close to another shrub. It's kind of encroaching on their space and causing them to lean forward a little bit. Um, that's number one. And number two, we do get tons of rain here where I live. So they are getting pounded down quite a bit. Um, so anyway, uh, watching that video that Laura just posted, uh, it, it just totally gave me some inspiration on how I too could stake these wee whites up uh, without putting multiple bamboo um, bamboo stakes in. I did just try one out because I didn't want to do it and then have it fail. So I tried one first and now I'm gonna show you exactly what okay, I Okay, so here you can see, these are the beautiful Invincible Wee White uh, Hydrangea. And you can see that these are kind of toppling over a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad, but one of the reasons I, I definitely want to stake them up is I have the lemon coral sedum down here, and I also have hiding underneath some um, Supertunia Bordeaux. I just had a treacherous attack of budworm and aphids at the same time. So I just cut those Supertunias way back, maybe about a week ago, but you can see right there, this one, oh, I'm sorry. This one here was um, totally decimated, no blooms at all. And after just a week, it's already flushing back. So I really wanna elevate these blooms on the wee whites a bit to give more sun uh, to the um, Super Junior Bordeaux because they will last through frost here. And if I, you know, give them a little bit more sun and what they're craving right now, instead of being shrouded, they'll perform much better. Um, this one here, I staked up so you can see the difference. And it, and it just helps out so much with the wind and the rains and things we get here. So what I did was, here's my, my, my little tiny supply here, heavy gauge fishing line, got my scissors, and I got some bamboo stakes over here. So what I did was I just put a shorter bamboo stake in, and then I wrapped the fishing line around the front of the shrub you can't even see it it just disappears in there you could use twine you could use anything you have on hand i do recommend not using the fishing line um, if you have very fragile or delicate stemmed plants as that could scissor through and cut them but with this it's very woody they're thick this is on their second year here so they are able to you know be propped up by this with, with no problem at all um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna set the camera up and I'm gonna finish taking out the rest of these and then show you guys what it looks like in the end. I have them all down the line here, so I'll be staking all of those.
just kind of lifts everything. It elevates everything. Now I can really see that lemon coral sedum down there. And this uh, Super Junior Bordeaux is gonna totally thrive now and it's gonna get covered in buds. It was just hiding too much in that spot. And now you'll see, you know, they'll all start to fill in. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up off camera and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I am all done. I did have one casualty, which look how pretty that bloom is. I'm gonna put that in a vase in the house. Um, but I just wanted to show you what a little bit of staking up can do with these. Now, I wanna mention again, um, I've planted lots of hydrangeas over the years. I would not consider this to be a floppy variety uh, by any means. So even though you see me staking them, it's my personal preference to do that. I don't need to do it. There's not things like laying on the ground. Um, I, I just wanted to lift these up to expose. You can see now the Bordeaux much better. You can see the lemon coral cena much better. And that will all fill in now and be able to get a new flush of bloom since I sprayed it for the budworms. And I'm gonna give you guys an update on what that looks like now that it has a little bit more sun. But um, you can see how much that that helped. And after I staked them up and tied them up, I, I just went around and I fluffed them up a little bit. I mean, you just play with it and readjust it and make it look, you know, not like it's staked up. You don't want it to look like soldiers in a row that are just being strangled by some uh, fishing line. That's definitely not what, you're, what you wanna go for. And it wouldn't be healthy for the plant either. Um, I just wanted to quickly talk about fertilization on these. Um, again, these are called Invincible Wee White. They are by Proven Winners, uh, Color Choice Shrubs. Um, I fertilize these in spring with Espoma, uh, Biotone usually, uh, Plant Tone. Actually, I, this year, I'm sorry, I used Rose Tone on these. So it's Espoma Rose Tone, and that is recommended to use for flowering shrubs like these hydrangeas and you just want to follow the directions on the bag and you just take some and you sprinkle it around the drip line of the plant so not right up on the on the um on the roots like right in the middle you want to do it around the drip line so that there's some breathing room there you can see the wind is kicking up we're probably going to get some rain soon but hey it's putting my steak job to the test right <laughs> um i just hope this inspires you guys to come out and try some different things in your garden if things are starting to uh, fade a bit, you know, fall is coming and try and give them like a little second life. Um, fertilization on the Super Junior, Super Junior Bordeaux, I come out here weekly uh, with a water soluble by Proven Winners and I just give them all a good dose. I'll be honest, I don't fertilize much at or at all really with the, um, with the lemon coral sedum. They are just a tough, tough, tough plant. And I have noticed, I planted them last year, that they don't require much, if any, fertilization to get, you know, thick and lush like this. So I'll give you guys an update on what the Bordeaux looks like. Um, you'll see I have some of my planters I'm emptying out up here, the one by our front door. I'm, you know, I'm in full force, transitioning to fall mode now. I'm probably gonna do a swap out of the plants in here too. I'm, I think I'm gonna keep the uh, the purple, the, the uh, royal velvet, but I think I'm gonna pop out this tropical sunrise, maybe put it somewhere else. It's it, I don't know if you can tell here, but it's a little too pinky um, for you know the fall tones. And I've already started popping some reds in. So I kinda wanna keep the warmer fall tones going. And I'll be really excited to see the Bordeaux fill in because they were trailing all the way out onto the uh, path here. And I have no doubt they'll do it again. They just needed to get the sun and the um, exposure there and the airflow going and not be completely engulfed by the beautiful wee whites there. Um, I hope you found this informative. It was fun to introduce myself to you guys. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I really wouldn't have the courage to be out here sharing all my gardening if it wasn't for all you guys and the super nice things that you say and all of the up uplifting comments. I read each and every one of them and they just mean so much to me. So thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.